This video will show you how to assess a patient for orthostatic hypotension using an accurate standardised method. Postural blood pressure, also known as lying and standing blood pressure, is a bedside test used to check for the presence of orthostatic hypotension. It is commonly performed in patients with either syncope or presyncope. To perform the test, Start by explaining the procedure to the patient and obtain their verbal consent. Ensure the patient has removed any tight clothing from their arm that may interfere with the blood pressure reading. To begin the test, ask the patient to lie down for five minutes. You can use either a manual or automatic sphygmomanometer. However, in either case, you should check you have the right size of cuff. After five minutes, take the blood pressure with the patient still lying down and document it in the notes. Then ask the patient to stand, ensuring you are close by to support them, should they feel dizzy or fall. You may require a colleague to help you to support the patient. Ask the patient to report any lightheadedness or dizziness at this stage. Ideally, you should take at least two readings while the patient is standing. The first, after one minute, and then again after three minutes of standing. If the patient begins to experience presyncope or is likely to fall, then the test should be abandoned. Orthostatic hypotension is present if after three minutes of standing, there is a drop in the systolic blood pressure of 20 millimetres of mercury or more, or a drop in the diastolic blood pressure of 10 millimetres of mercury or more. If your patient is unable to stand, it is still possible to perform a modified version of this test. Instead of standing, you should ask the patient to sit on the side of the bed. The blood pressure is recorded in a similar way. After five minutes lying down, then again after one minute of sitting, and finally after three minutes of sitting. The results should be interpreted in the same way. If there is no significant drop in blood pressure within the three minutes of standing for the test, but you still have a high clinical suspicion of orthostatic hypertension, you should consider a tilt table test. Alternatively, a longer standing time in the test of up to five minutes may be advocated. If the patient is symptomatic, but there is no drop in blood pressure to suggest orthostatic hypertension, then you should consider alternative diagnoses, such as panic attacks, postural tachycardia syndrome, cerebrovascular disease, or hyperventilation. Ask the patient to lie down for five minutes. Measure the blood pressure with the patient still lying down. Ask the patient to stand. Remember you may need to support them. Record the blood pressure after one minute of standing. Record the blood pressure after three minutes of standing. Orthostatic hypertension is present if there is a drop in the standing systolic blood pressure of 20 millimetres of mercury or more, or a drop in the standing diastolic blood pressure of 10 millimetres of mercury or more, after three minutes of standing. These are the key steps for how to assess a patient for orthostatic hypertension.